If you've come to know code from a traditional coding background, you will be familiar with for loops, how you take X number of something and you run a function or in no code terms, a workflow for each of those somethings. Now bubble doesn't have a, a, a workflow item called a for loop or a loop function, but you can still do it using backend workflows. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. But before I launch into it, if you're watching this, it's because you've got an idea and you're trying to build it with bubble. And if you want to accelerate that process and gain access to to many, many hours of resources just like this one, click the link down in the description. But let's have a look at the demo I've got here, which is uh, a multi-line input and I'm beginning to put a shopping list together. And so let's say I wanted to add a item to my database for every uh, line of text that is in my multi-line input. We're gonna start off simple and I might record a few videos, but we'll start off by a, a splitting up a list of text and saving that to the database uh, item by item. Uh, so we'll just say save each line as item. And now this is a demo app that I've got loads of previous demos from, uh, but I just want to have a new data type and we'll call it item. Uh, and we'll just have a label because you know cake is going to become a label uh, for that item text save okay so uh what i need to do is to say add a workflow and i need to break it up but i basically need to use a back-end workflow back-end workflows is the jump of how you build something that functions like a for loop so i'm going to go down and go to back-end workflows if you don't see that you have to enable it in settings uh, apis and enable back-end workflows you also have to be on a paid plan in order to make use of back-end workflows uh, so let's create a new workflow it's not going to be public i'm just going to say save shopping list and we need to think of this in terms of this will run once per item. So this is the function that sits inside of the for loop. And what do we pass into it? Well, we're passing in just some text and it is of type text. And so for each one, we create a new thing and we create an item and the label is text. Okay, so we've got three items in our shopping list. We want this back in workflow to run three times. How do we do that? Well, we go back to our page and now we say custom event schedule API workflow on list and the list of things. So we're not dealing with data types here. I'll probably do a, a video on that in a moment, um, but we are just dealing with text because we're taking what Bubble considers to be a block of text separated by a line space and we're breaking that into a list of text uh, so we say list of things is of type text and this is where we split it up So our multi-line input is just one text block But we so we take the value and then we use split by and if you haven't already check out my other other videos on split by It's immensely helpful for targeting specific bits or isolating text um, perhaps from like a API uh, AI response that sort of thing, but in this case we're simply going to say split by and I've hit the enter key uh, you can see there um, and so we're saying split by every time there is the enter key character in our text the workflow we then run is our save shopping list and then now we're thinking from the perspective that up here is our list perspective and here is our single item perspective so we say this text because this is refer if this has got three bit three items of text in the list this text is referring to one of those items so we simply pass in this text we then say, uh, well, it's scheduling, but we just want it to run right away. So we say current date time. Uh, cool, and then that's it. So let's go ahead and preview and see what happens. So here's our preview, here's our shopping list. Just as a reminder, what we're hoping to happen is that in app data items, we get three items being added in. Uh, oh, I'm gonna make one just little improvement here, which is to say split by line space and then trimmed. Uh, each item's trimmed. So then if someone puts like cake, space, line space, we just neaten it up. Um, so let's go back to our preview. Uh, trimmed is going to remove uh, any spaces, basically any non-visible characters, sort of, uh, from a string of text. Uh, so we'll say save each item. 
and this is going to run the front end workflow very quickly in fact it just blitz the cross it there and then it runs it in uh, as a back end workflow back end workflows um, get queued up especially if you're doing much more with them than simply saving one tiny bit of text uh, so you can go ahead and go into server logs and and if they're all queued if they're all queued up, you'll see them in here. Um, but if you need to debug a backend workflow, you can see it in here. It's much harder to debug and make sense, honestly, in my opinion, a backend workflow uh, than simply using the debug on the front end. But you can see basically that an anonymous user has created an item called cake and created an item called butter, eggs, etc. And so then if we go into our items, we can see that it has worked. Our items, our three items have been added as three separate lines in our item data type. So there you go, that's how you can build a for loop in bubble uh, and use split by to separate each line of text. You could uh, split by comma if you wanted the user to uh, insert a series of values separated by commas, you could also do that this same way.